Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm the book geek also known as Kiava and I'm finally reacting to episode 2 for season 11 of The Walking Dead. This is part 2 to the first episode so let's just jump right in. She's gonna crawl right under there like Glenn did when he crawled under the fucking dumpster. I mean her peoples don't hear the gunshots? They don't hear what's happening? Crawl under the train car girl come on. She's getting swarmed. Stop trying to make us think y'all about to kill her because we already seen the trailer and we know that she's in more than just this one scene. So, <laughs> nobody heard that gunshot? Rest in shut. A safe bet that they all are. Where's Maggie? Where's Maggie? Yeah. She was right behind me. You sound like you lying. <laughs> That's supposed to be your leader. Y'all supposed to make sure that she get where she going safe. Somebody boost me up. You go up there, you're dead. She'd be pissed if you tried. She yes. wants us to keep moving forward. He could go up. The walkers don't know how to fucking climb. The dog got on a vest. Full supplies and shit. <laughs> That's what they should have did in Game of Thrones. They should have put armor on the last fucking dragon. You know how badass it would have been to see a fucking dragon in fucking armor? I'm still mad about Game of Thrones. Okay, back to Walking Dead. Damn! Tried to escape with all that money. That money don't mean shit. Hold it. The music is gone. What? In anticipation of the next question, I looked everywhere else around. No one's saying anything. Someone talk you. Someone knows what we did. He's just the first domino to fall. In anticipation of your follow-up query, I don't know how I know. I only know that I'm freaking out. It's probably because he told off the big guy. Oh, God, why did he off the big guy? Calm the fuck down, Eugene. I'd like to speak to somebody who can actually give me answers. Who do you report to? I want to speak to your speak manager, to bitch. <laughs> That's right. We want to talk to the manager. <laughs> I fucking love her, yo. Ah, oh, shit, dog. Damn, put him on a leash. This look like some Pennywise shit. Don't go in there. <laughs> you think you've been assessing me? No, dear. I've been assessing you. Ooh. You probably had a job like this before the world fell. If I had to guess, I'd say forensic psychologist. Bitch. <laughs> Y'all know y'all not the only smart ones in the room, right? She went to fucking Oxford. <laughs> the fuck? She's brilliant. Eugene, if that fine ass dude in the orange suit just walked in here with a coffee, things must be going good for you. Wait, right? when did she call him? <laughs> she'll be out by the time I'm back. Did she say this fine ass dude? Is that what she just said? Did I hear that right? <laughs> that's that's Maggie. It's Maggie, and she gonna tell on your... You so stupid! Do you think she that easy to kill? She survived this long. Anybody who survived this long is not gonna be that easy to kill. Get him! He deserved this shit. Fuck him up! You left me for dead, bitch! After what you did to my husband, you know I got this little baby of his to take care of? You son of a bitch! Hit him with that fucking gun! Yes! Bitch! I slipped. He saw, and he left me to die. Yeah. Beat his ass. He deserved okay. that. So what? You're just admitting it? Oh, you to kill her. No. She was in trouble and I didn't help. There is a big difference. She wouldn't help him either. I know that. But Ooh, damn. You could have grabbed her up. Come on, Megan. You've done enough, yo. She was just talking about murder. That's what I said. I'm so Sooner conflicted. Than later. And yet somehow, I'm the big old asshole because I didn't risk my neck. I said for that her. during my last reaction that she threatened to kill him and you can't ask for somebody's help who you just tried to fucking kill. You're gonna burn in Hilltop that helped, huh? I killed Alpha. All right, so yeah, I was helpful. Because if I hadn't done that, every person you know, their skull would be on a spike. I did what needed to be done. He really I did. I am trying. 
I'm so fucking conflicted. Yeah, okay, I'm not buying a word of it. Same. Not if it happens. We can get through the city without him. Conflicted. All this time we wasted, we could have been open the door and got him in. He's about to die. Maggie, listen to me. We have time. We can get that door open. Well, you had time. All that time you're wasting now. We don't have the ammo to clear that. Oh shit! He stabbed himself. You still gonna turn, baby? And they still gonna eat you because you ain't you. This is terrible. They're just gonna stand there and watch? Somebody could. This is gonna, this is gonna cause some problems because people are gonna look at Maggie differently because of what she, she did here. It's making Negan look right. This is disturbing. Stop watching! Turn around! Don't watch! Negan says she don't give a shit about that kid. You guys don't want to look at him. Yeah! Why? Why won't you look at him? All that is is the shell of a man who died a coward. He died a coward? If you were on the other side of that door, Maggie, you would want people to open it for you. If that was Daryl, you would have did everything to open that door. Before I found Elijah and his people, Herschel and I were alone for a long time. I held a knife to his throat and reached in his pocket. I pulled out the chloroform rag he was going to use on me. Stuffed it in his mouth. They came after me. But I handled them. At the top of the stairs is this shadow. And all of a sudden it fell down the stairs. It came right at my feet. It was a walker. It used to be a woman. Her arms and her legs had been cut off. That's stitched up. We're going to see that later on, I think. Like those walkers that was crawling in the trailer. Walk a baby inside of her. Stairs, and there were three more just like her. And then I found the food. Lots of it. And Herschel and I filled the cart with it. And we left. Yeah, like the father and the son from the road. I don't feel anything when I tell you that. Oh, Daryl, you're always crawling through muck and dirt. You'll float too. <laughs> Did they just close the gate? Come on, come on, come on. I love it when he uses this fucking thing. Damn. Is that fresh blood? Does somebody have dog? Did people do that? 
Oh, 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 dog, be careful. Dog, be careful. Y'all want help after y'all ran off like little bitches? They gonna get through the door anyway. And y'all gonna have to fight him. So technically, you could have let him in. You know what I mean? It's more on the other side. Are we cracked? Are they coming in from both sides? Oh, what the fuck? She's not so heartless after all. Boy, yeah, in a rock and a hard place. Oh, Daryl to the rescue. Daryl's like, what the fuck's going on in here? <laughs> That's so badass. That's so badass. That's so badass. That is a great fucking shot. Let's go. Ah, oh, of these motherfuckers. Let's go. Just walk down the line, bitch. Fucking them up. All by himself. Oh, Dara, I love you. Get your asses in there. Let's go. Come on. Maggie better not be last again this time either. Get in there, Maggie. Get your ass in there, girl. Close the door. Close the motherfucking door. Come on, Dara. Hurry up! God damn it's gonna blow! Yo ass down! The fuck I'm talking about! It's the fuck I'm talking about! Eugene, if you lie, I'll know. And we don't know what the fuck the other one said. I don't think they broke though. Stick to the story. My track record in the romantic realm is spotty at best. I'm not one for whom any relationship come easy, particularly those with the fairer sex. And I am, in fact, a virgin. Even though I have uh, observed yeah, you, far more times than I can. You used to watch Rosita and Abraham. <laughs> Thank you for holding back your titters. Is he really a virgin? I was... Oh, we got to get our boy laid. A suitable period. We got to get laid. It's Especially before he might die. An unenviable status. Because deep down, I was hoping that maybe, in fact, she was my one true love. You don't know what you're and missing. No, Woo! Let that. him out of there so he can go on his date. <laughs> Thank God you're here too. We were worried. He was worried. You know what the fuck's going on? They make it seem like they so fucking sinister. Tell somebody something. Pursuant to Section 114A of the New Articles of Perpetual Union, in deference to traditions established by Article 1, Section 8 of the Legacy Constitution, and Article 14 of the Legacy UDHR, you have successfully completed initial processing and consideration for asylum and citizenship in these United Townships. When oh. you walk through these doors, you'll be escorted to orientation. Oh, they legit legit. Articles and titles and shit, laws and government. God damn. Orientation? I went to West Point. Asshole. <laughs> I want to see what the inside of Commonwealth looks like. Um, which one of you is Eugene? Is that really Stephanie? Hi. It's Stephanie. Ah, is that really her? Because they like to play games here. You know what I mean? Sorry. Say sorry. Oh, I think y'all walking into something.
I don't think we should go this, this way. This sure has gone to shit the last time, time I was here. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. No, 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 no. That's, that's their trail. It's marked. It's somebody's territory. Yeah, that's somebody's territory. Oh, these motherfuckers. Walking up, they look like a fucking album cover. It's about to go down. It's going off like that. You motherfuckers always doing this shit. Right. I don't want to see no, 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 no. I don't want to see no trailers. Okay, well, I like this episode a lot. Um, some really great scenes in there. Really good monologues. Um, I don't have much time to talk because I only got like five more minutes of recording time left. I'm so conflicted with when it comes to, you know, letting Gage in or not letting him in, helping people or not helping people. And I'm just so conflicted. Uh, the whole thing, when Maggie got up there, it could have went so left for Negan and it didn't. She's showing a lot of mercy. Um, but he was right. Like, she just threatened to kill me. And she was slipping and falling. And she asked for my help. Why would I help somebody who just threatened to kill me? And I said that in my last review of the last episode that, you know, you can't point a gun in somebody's face and admit to wanting to kill them. And then five, ten minutes later, when you're in trouble, ask for their help. I mean, he knows that she wants to kill him without her even saying so. But still, it's the whole, you know, preservation of life. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um... This episode is setting up some shit for next episode and this it's already starting. So, um, you know, Maggie has gone to a dark place, but I know that she's not completely gone yet. But I do think that they could have let Gage in because they end up getting in anyway and they, they ended up putting the walkers down. But granted, if Daryl didn't show up like he did and to save the day, they probably would have been in a much more dangerous situation if Daryl hadn't shown up. They might have not made it out of there. Um, so it probably was a good idea to keep that door closed, but I do understand that if there was somebody else on the other side of that door that she really cared about or have known for some significant amount of time, she would have took the risks and opened that door. So I'm just, I'm very conflicted about the whole thing. Do we open the door and put all of us in danger or what do we do here? I'm, I'm not sure. He did take off and run off and leave us. You know what I mean? And would he do the same thing if it was us on that side of the door? I don't think he would. Plus, he was an asshole. Anyway, he was one of the ones who was beating up on Lydia. So, it's, you know, I'm just conflicted. I'm conflicted. You know, that story that Maggie told. I would have loved to see that. I would have loved to see that scene. But it sounds like we might see some walkers like that later on. Because we saw in the trailer that they had these crawling walkers. And it, it what she was describing sort of sounds like what we saw in the trailer. And everybody was trying to figure out what the fuck is that. So that might be what was going on. Uh, somebody may be doing some crazy shit out there with the walkers. Crazy, crazy. But I would have liked to see that image. Just even in my head, the image of pregnant, deformed, crawling walkers with walker babies inside of them that just is so disturbing to me that was a great scene and the scene with daryl coming through the train car shooting and stabbing the walkers oh that was oh it was an incredible scene it was beautiful it was beautiful um but anyway i gotta go my shit is blinking i got like i one minute left on here and also i do want to thank all your heartfelt messages and comments on my last Walking Dead video. I really, really appreciate it, guys. I'm smiling today. I'm in a much better mood today. I'm taking things one day at a time. Um, some days are better than others. Um, but I just wanted to uh, thank you guys personally. Um, thanks for sticking out with me. If content is late, it's because I'm going through, I'm going through things. And I'm back at work and school also, so things might be a little late, but Thank you so much. Love to all of you. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Bye.